Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Ali Reza Firouja. This is a game from the Tata Steel tournament played in 2021. Carlsen had white pieces and he started with d4. Ali Reza Firouja played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3 and now d5, the queen's gambit. If bishop to b4 check, then probably bishop to d2, and it looks like that this was the line that Alireza Firuja wanted to avoid. Back to our game. d5, the queen's gambit declined. Knight to c3, knight from b to d7, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, asking a question. Bishop to h4, bishop to e7, and now c takes on d5. Knight takes on d5. Bishop takes on e7, queen takes bishop, e4, gaining a free move. Knight takes on c3, pawn takes knight, and white has a nice looking center. Firoja cast at king's side. Bishop to d3, c5, attacking white's nice looking center. Carlsen cast at king's side. C takes on d4, c takes on d4, b6, intending to fianca to the bishop. A4, bishop to b7, a5, black to move, b takes on a5, if b5, then probably a6, not bishop takes on b5, because bishop takes on a4, after the b5 move, we would probably have a6 on the board, bishop to c6, rook to e1, and white is still slightly better, back to our game, b takes on a5, rook takes on a5, knight to f6, pressure is on the pawn on e4, rook to e1, rook from f to d8, queen to a1, defending and attacking, and now, not a6, but queen to c7, white to move, should white take the pawn on a7, Carlsen played h3, What's wrong with taking? Let's have a look. If rook takes on a7, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, and then rook to a8 attacking the queen. The white queen must go to c5, then queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and the white pawn on c5 is not a powerhouse. The black rook is operating on the open file. Back to our game. So in this position we have h3, a6, rook to c5, attacking the queen, queen to f4, rook to e5, knight to d7, attacking the rook, rook to a5, knight to f6, white to move, d5. And this will make a game quite complex. e takes on d5, and now not pawn takes pawn, but e5. Let's take it back. If e takes on d5, rook takes on d5, and black is doing well. Back to our game. e5, attacking the knight. Knight to e4. Queen to d4. Rook from d to c8. Rook from a to a1. a5. The a pawn could be very dangerous. Rook from a to b1, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c6. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps rook to b6 comes to mind. Carlsen played this very cool move. e6. Why? This is a pawn sacrifice. To clear the square for the knight. f takes on e6. Knight to e5. Threatening f3. Queen to f6. If a4. Then f3 attacking the pin knight. So we have a queen to f6. f3 attacking the knight. Knight to g5. Rook to b6 attacking the bishop. Bishop to e8. Queen to e3. a4. Wow, the pass pawn is marching. How to stop the pawn? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Carlsen played knight to g4, attacking the queen, 
queen to d8 and we have reached the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Carlsen played. Rook takes pawn on e6. Any other move and black would be better. Knight takes rook. Queen takes knight check. Black to move. This is another critical moment. Should black play bishop to f7 or king to h8? What would you do? Firouja played bishop to f7. Let's take it back. He probably didn't like king to h8 because of queen to f5. But in this position, he has a good defense. And that is queen to b6 check. After king to h1, black can play bishop to g6. Forcing white to take the bishop. Queen takes bishop, then queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, a3. And after rook to a1, a2. And black is doing well. Back to our game. Instead of king to h8. Alireza Firoja played bishop to f7. Missing Carlsen's killer move. What move? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the killer move that Carlsen played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Carlsen played knight takes on h6, check, kaboom. A peace sacrifice for two pawns plus the winning attack. G takes on h6, queen takes pawn on h6, threatening bishop to h7, check, winning the game. Queen to c7. Let's take it back if a3 then white would win with a standard checkmating pattern. Bishop to h7 check and after king to h8, bishop to g6 check. King to g8, queen to h7 check, king to f8, queen takes bishop check mate back to our game. That is why Alireza played queen to c7 defending the bishop. White to move. How would you continue? Queen to h7? Bishop to h7? Or something else? Carlsen played queen to h7 check. Bishop to h7 also wins, but it takes longer. Back to our game. Queen to h7 check. King to f8. Queen to h8 check. Bishop to g8. White. Play the move and black resigned and the move is queen to h6 check. Aliriza Firoja resigned. If the queen goes to g7, then queen to d6 check. And after king to f7, queen to e7 check. Mate, and let's go back. If king goes to f7, then bishop to g6 check. King to f6. Bishop to h5, discover check, forcing the king to go to f5. And then bishop to g4, check, mate. What a game. At some stage, Alireza Feroja probably thought he was winning, but the win escaped. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.